Hello guys, Voice is here, and I am regrettably making my Dead by Daylight kill your tier list, because I have not given up on this game, even though I haven't uploaded it in a while, I have, uh, I have not given up on it just yet. Uh, I'm gonna give up on it so fucking soon, I'm gonna give up on Dead by Daylight, this game's making me want to kill myself. But, uh, right now we have the Dead by Daylight killer tier list, um, yeah, this list is in no particular order on, uh, like, which killer is gonna be ranked first and section yet. There's two killers I do need to rank first, though. Um, just give me one second. Oh, I fucked that one. <laughs> Alright, there you go. Um, so... I guess we could actually start the list now. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna start out. Let's start out with uh, my favorite killer, the pig. Uh, this hurts. I I don't know where to put the pig. You know, some people I see that sh they put her B tier, or some people they put her with fucking. But I don't think she belongs on there. I'm gonna put her in C tier, which kind of hurts my soul as a pig player. Um. The main problem with pig is the main problem with Ghostface is that once you know it's a pig, her stealth becomes pretty much fucking useless. It is entirely your fault if you get snuck up on by a pig after the first time someone even tells you, hey, it's a pig. Um, in fact, what makes it even worse for pig is that you could see her jigsaw traps off the start. So you know it's just a pig straight up. So it's actually, sorry, pig's actually worse than, uh, than where is he? Ghosty here. And stealth. But, the fact that she can have some map control makes it good. And her ambush is actually surprisingly well at pallet loops. And just with the fact that she can use her ability, I don't think she's D tier. But, uh, I don't know. I don't think I could put Pig anywhere higher than C. But might as well rank the other stealthy crouchy boy. Ghostface. Uh, same thing with Pig. Once you're discovered, it's entirely your fault. If, uh, or sorry, once you're discovered, it's entirely the survivor's fault if they, if they somehow get snuck up on by you. I just, I, I don't see any way to get snuck up on by Ghostface. However, just like Pig, you can at least use the power every once in a while. So, it gets, uh, it gets a strong, a strong, um, strong C. Um, moving on, we have Demo Doggo. Demo Gorgon. What am I ranking about Demo Gorgon? I'm trying to play Minecraft duels while we sit here and rank killers. So, what am I going to do with Demo Gorgon? Um, I think. I think there's a strong case for Demo Gorgon to kick his ass to go in B tier. Um, mainly of the fact that his, his portals aren't the strongest, but his. Um, his, uh, his, his, his dash, what is it called? Shred? is Shred. Shred can be insanely good in a chase if you use it correctly. Um, you know, so let's say someone's going into Killer Shack and they just run straight for the God Pallet, which I have not seen that in forever, but, you know, just in case some idiot does. Instant Shred, instant down. Now, it can be baited out with mind games if you fucking rage quit. It can be baited out with mind games if you're, you know, stupid. But isn't that this just whole game now? Is that uh, Mind Game Central? This game basically is just mind games. Pretty much, you have to be smart to use Demogorgon. Uh, I think the portals can be used like every every now and then. You can get some effectiveness out of it. You have map control, which is nice. But everyone does know when you're teleporting. So sometimes it can be detrimental instead of um, helpful. But <clears throat> I think... Nah, I, I, I think... I think I'll put him in B. Alright, uh, moving on. Bubba. I'm sorry, dude. Even after your rework, you're still bad. <clears throat> Problem with Bubba is that he's he's still got the issue of literally zero movement. Sure, he can chainsaw for longer now. But honestly, I would say the rework almost wasn't as helpful, if you really think about it. Because now he doesn't have any chainsaw decreasing add-ons, which was his best add-on. And, or does he? All I know is that if he does, it, it does some bullshit other things just chainsaw. Chili's actually nice now, but I, I just feel bad for Bubble on the fact that it feels like he got nerfed with the rework. And that rework was supposed to be a huge buff for him. 
and I can't see any redeeming qualities except the fact that he can chainsaw for longer, but does it really matter? I don't know. Moving on, same person, Clown. Clown is in the same premise of Bubba as that, except you have a diamond sword off spawn, are you fucking with me? Sorry. Alright, um, this fucker, survival games, because a diamond sword off spawn. Clown is on the same premise of Bubba as that, he's not exactly, how do I say this, strong in any way. I guess you can technically use his bottles for, you know, like, uh, strategically, but honestly, I don't know, I just, I just don't really see strategic clowns anymore. I mean, I don't play clown much in general, because every single time I do, I instantly fucking lose, but even after the rework, I mean, the rework helped him, don't get me wrong, it's a little help to his kit, but it doesn't mean that he's good. Uh, the clown is still, but like, path pathetic in the chase. He can sometimes use his bottles, but most of the time he's like bu exactly what Bubba is. His bottles are just not there in time to save him. Uh, I, I just, I can't see him anywhere higher than D. Moving on, we got Doctor. Uh, Doctor. Um, Doctor is in the premise of Demogorgon that he can have map control, but it, it sort of is on cooldown for Doctor. It's not as good for Doctor. Or sorry, it's it's well, that's actually debatable if it's as good or not as good for Doctor. It can be as good for Doctor if you use it correctly. This guy got another fuck. They got another fucking diamond sword off spawn. Whatever. Um, premise of Doctor is that you know he he completely stops you from throwing down pallets, dead harding, and madness can be a bitch. If you're, if you're like, you know, just expecting a normal skill check, because there have been times where I'm just expecting a normal skill check, because I haven't played a doctor in like 15 games. All of a sudden, it just starts shaking, and it's on the right side of my screen, and I'll miss it. Um, I, I don't, I don't know. I, I think, I think B tier is strong for him, because he can be super strong in the chase, but he can also fail miserably. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put him in B. I think that's safe. All right, Hag, our first. Oh, fuck me. Perfect. Alright, fag. Fag. Yeah, fag. Fag it. Our first S tier. Um, Hag's so strong in late game. It's it's almost in fucking possible to beat her late game if, if you're playing against a smart Hag player. Have a, a smart Hag player, you know, can set up a 3 gen and can completely troll late game without any, like, problems whatsoever. A dumb hag, <coughs> Hoodwink Gaming, will chase you around while without putting any traps down because they are a fucking moron and don't know how to play the damn character and shouldn't have played them in the first place and they suck dick at the game and no one loves them! Also, Tide Time's a bitch. I don't like Tide Time. Alright. I think I should... I mean, I, I don't think I gave enough except Are you fucking... Alright, whatever. Uh, hag, teleport. Uh, super good strong. I'm fucking into it Minecraft. Hillbilly. Hillbilly's A tier. Um, I have nothing else to say about Hillbilly. He's cool, I guess. Yum. He one-shots. He, uh... He can, um... Run around the map. Huntress, A tier. Uh, even on Xbox, I still think Huntress is insanely, insanely good. Or PS4, but fuck PS4. We don't, we don't, we don't speak heresy in this town. Um, I think it all depends on the fact that you kind of just have to um, really be fucking fantastic at the game if you're gonna play a Huntress. I mean, I have been decimated by Huntresses that don't even run fucking. What's it called? What's the fucking thing called? Iridescent head. Like they have absolutely decimated me and my uh, my entire team. And I've also gone up against huntresses that don't know what the letter T is and probably never graduated past preschool. A tier. Moving on, we have Legion. Ah, uh, Legion C tier. Fuck, 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 fuck. Bring it on, bitch. Bring it on, bitch. 
shit on your bad. Yeah, Legion's C tier. Legion has no fucking way of ending a chase. He has absolutely zero ability in ending chase. What Legion does have is completely stalling out the fucking game to the point where you just want to kill yourself. That's, that's all I gotta say about Legion. Legion's on the premise of cannot do literally anything else but stall. I mean, he's good at stalling, but it's the only thing he can do. It can work, but at the same time, it can also not work. But the fact that it can work, and, you know, he actually uses his ability, I'm gonna put him in C. Freddy. Uh, Freddy, I'm gonna put in B or A. I'm gonna put him in A. Freddy um, ha is one of those characters that has insane potential of just controlling an entire map and ending the game within five minutes. He also has insane potential of, you know, just holding the game off for about 15 minutes, like, just like someone like, um, Legion. But he also has the potential to flop right on his fucking face and fail miserably. He could be super good, but he can also be pathetically bad. Uh, he can completely show the map the survivors don't choose to wake up, but if, you know, it's a coordinated team, they're waking up, once they can chase this, Freddy's not gonna have that well of a time. Now, a good Freddy can still control the map, um, get in, get the insta-downs with his, um, with his, uh, fucking snares. And I say insta-downs, because Freddy, if he plays it smart, snare, snare, pretty much an insta-down, even though he can't exactly want it. I don't know, bring no it up, Freddy. Alright, nurse. Uh, okay, Oni. Um, I don't really know where I'm gonna put Oni. I want to say S, and at the same time, I want to say A. I'm gonna put him in A for now. Oni is the same as Hillbilly, but how do I say this? Takes um, takes time to charge up. So you might be saying, well, then why do? It? Why is he in uh? Why is he in A tier? If he has a charge up, wouldn't he be historically worse than Billy? And then I would say, shut up, let me speak. You're a dumb bitch. You know, he fucking loves you. Um, premise of Oni is that he can run into walls without it stopping. That's, that's, that's it. So yeah, moving on to Plague. Um... You have full iron already? Are you joking? And a diamond helmet? Oh, fuck. So, um, oh my gosh, it's eat that pussy 445, or 545. Eat ass. So, um, moving on to Plague. I'm gonna put Plague in A tier as well. Uh, I think Plague's a great killer. Uh, I think she can be super effective in the right hands, but at the same time, can be super bad. But most of the time... I mean, Plague does definitely take skill. Don't get me wrong. Plague takes skill. Because, despite popular belief, you kind of actually have to aim your fucking thing. Oh my gosh, I have to fight him. I have to fight him here? I'm dead. What do I do? He has a diamond sword as well. Of course you do, dude. You have full iron, a diamond helmet, and a diamond sword. And you're still losing. Oh! Instant health! Instant health! Are you fucking with me?! Okay, back to what I was saying about Plague. Um, Plague's whole ability is to be able to completely, like Legion, stall at the game. Unlike Legion, she can actually down players. That's it, A tier. Hey, I have to explain more. Uh, I think the whole premise of Plague would be, you know, make them broken, and then, and then you can instantly, uh, what's it called? You know, down them. And they're going to stay broken the rest of the game unless they choose to cleanse. But if they choose to cleanse, then, um... Hippity hoppity, your knees are my property. Alright, moving on to Myers. I'm going to put Myers... Wrong one. In B. Um... I think Myers can be super good. But Myers is the, uh, effective... Basically, Myers' whole playstyle is to run around and kill things and get tier 3. He can either be super good or he can be gen rushed into fucking... Avatar. I don't fucking know. There's nothing in that chest. Do you hear me? Myers is on the premise of I'm either gonna get gen rush terribly, or I'm going to 
completely fucking get tier 3 within 2 seconds and kill everyone on the map. Um, I, I don't know. I feel like... I just don't feel like it happens enough where I... I am able to effectively get a um, tier 3 to the fact over that I have not found a weapon I'm being chased. To... You know, I feel like I get gen rush a lot more, especially at someone like rank 1, which we are taking... This is rank 1. Uh... I don't know, I just, I can't put my iris anywhere higher than A, because he can be super, again, he can be super effective and deadly in the right hands, but in the wrong hands, he can be super bad, which sucks for a lot of these killers, because that can be a lot of these killers in this game, they can either be super fucking good or super terrible, I don't know, alright, Trapper, D tier, I'm sorry, you can get upset, you can get upset, because I know Trapper is the most played killer by a long shot. So all you Trapper fans can get fucking upset. Trapper's not good, alright? Trapper's bad. Trapper is bad. Trapper's whole ability is to, you know, completely stop survivors in their tracks. Except if a survivor has any situational awareness or runs a strong perk like... What is that called? Eye of the Obsession or something like that? I have not played this game in like a while, actually, but I can't remember. I can't remember what is it. What is it? What is it? What is it? Whatever it is. I think we all know what I'm talking about. If you run that shit, Trapper is fuck. <laughs> You're gonna know exactly where he's putting that trap. Now, you can say the same for Hag, but unlike Ch Hag, Trapper gets such little traps compared to Hag. Also, you're pretty much still forced to run bag add-ons. If I'm if I'm correct, you're pretty much forced against your will to run bag add-ons. You're gonna be hurting all game. You're gonna be hurting all game. You don't you don't have to, but it's almost a guarantee. So I don't know. I can't put Trapper anywhere higher than B D. He's he's better than Bubba. Okay, he's like better than Bubba D, but he's like no. If there was F on this, I'd put him D and put Bubba F. But honestly, I don't think I, I don't think I'm too lazy to make I'm too lazy to make an F and D. I'm so annoyed with Minecraft. All right, moving on to. Wraith. Wraith is also deeds here. A bit upset. I don't give a shit. Wraith has literally no redeeming qualities. Uh, oh, never mind. His redeeming quality is that he goes invisible. Wow. So helpful. The first time. Unlike what I would like to call a... Um, between Ghostface and Pig, though. Ghostface exposes them. Pig can put traps on their head and have map control. Wraith moves faster. That's it. Oh, and when he comes out, he can do a super lunge, which does, uh, uh, people fall for it, but, you know, all you have to do is not suck dick at the game, and you're fine. <sighs> he's, he's just, I love Wraith, he's one of my favorite killies, but, damn, does he suck ass. He is really bad. You basically need to run Windstorm add-ons, even after the buff, you're still going to need to run Windstorm add-ons, just to have a little bit extra speed. You don't have to. But it helps so much. Moving on to Deathslinger. Oh, dear, dude. Poor Deathslinger. I'm going to put him in seeds here just because the fact that I'm like every other killer pretty much in D. Sorry. Battery. Fuck off. Um, Deathslinger uses his ability. Well, I guess Trapper can use his ability, but you have to be damn stupid to get stuck in a Trapper trap compared to like, you know, getting into a Hag trap. Whole premise of that. I can get into that in a future video. But the thing with Deathslinger is that. Even though you have that sight, it's just having to reload after every single shot and being 110 and not even having that much effective power and ending a chase because you can very well easily dodge it. Give it to like Huntress Hatches, where I swear I have the fucking hitbox of a mammoth. I just can't. I just don't see anything for Deathslinger. He's just like. I don't know, man. He's just so much worse in comparison to Huntress. Maybe it's a, maybe it's because Huntress doesn't have to reload after after every shot. I don't know. <sighs> moving on to Spirit. <laughs> uh, yeah, fuck you. All right, moving on to ex the Executioner. I'm gonna put him in solid A tier. Give him a solid A. Um, Executioner. Uh, even after his nerfs, he's still really strong. Super good ability. Uh, just in. Writable um, secondary ability if someone gets caught off guard by it. That can be. I mean, it's, his secondary ability can completely just fuck games up if, if he pays attention or if players aren't paying attention. 
I mean, you have a diamond chest plate. Are you fucking with me? Fuck, I'm gonna fight him. He has full of diamond enchanted gear. Or, sorry, iron and then a diamond enchanted chest plate. What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Um, back to what I was saying about Executioner. He has one of the best secondary abilities in the game. You don't get too much use out of it sometime, but... I don't know, I feel like once a game I'll get use out of his secondary ability. On top of that, punishment of the dam is not fair. <laughs> I, I just feel like a nurse who doesn't have to teleport when I use punishment of the dam. Yeah. Alright, Blight. I'm torn between giving Blight B and C. Because something tells me I want to... Because like everything's telling me I'll lesion C, but I might as well put him in C with him. But after his sight buff... Oh man, that did wonders for him. I, I'd have to give him B tier. His sight buffs and so insanely helpful. You don't understand. Being able to see more is so fucking helpful. On top of that, Blight has, has well, it's Legion, but he can down people. That's, that's actually like an accurate reputation. It's Legion, but he can down people. He's got insane movement. He is pretty high skill cap, if I'm going to be honest. He's really hard to play, actually. But if you learn him, he can be effective. Yeah. And then... Let's talk about the two people I've ignored this whole time. Who I just put in the tier at the start. And never said anything about. Trickster! And the twins. Let's start with Trickster. What redeeming quality does this guy have? I, I can't name one. Even after the bus they just gave him. He's, he's pathetic. He's so incredibly weak in the chase compared to someone like Deathslinger. The difference between Trickster and Deathslinger or Huntress is that Deathslinger and Huntress's things injure instantly. Trickster has to hit so many. On top of that, there's recoil. Why? They're, they're throwing knives. Why would he have recoil on throwing knives? Oh, and don't even get me started on twins. Twins. The fucking twins. They basically want you to just camp with them. I, 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 I can't believe. I've never... I've seen one Merciless Twins game. I've seen one Merciless Twins game. And that was my friend who got adept on twins after that Merciless game. I just... If you don't believe me on how bad these killers are, play them. That's all I have to say for you. If you do not believe me, play the killers. You will literally want to kill yourself. I can't give them anywhere higher than fucking fuck you tier. That's how bad they are. They're fuck you tier. They don't deserve their own tier. They don't even get a tier. That's how bad they are. That's how bad killers they are. They don't get their own tier. <sighs> Alright. Well, that is my Dead by Daylight killer tier list. Rank 1. Uh, let the hate come in, just like before. Alright, well, uh, thanks gamers for watching, uh, I love you, woo.